Good day, everyone. My name is Colin, and in today's episode, that Australian accent just isn't working for me now, is it? What's up, everyone? My name is Colin, and in today's episode of the Spin Cycle, I'm going to show you how to install a Mazda MPV power window switch in your Series 4 Mazda RX-7. So today's video is kind of a companion to a video that I uploaded recently in which I showed you how to remove, disassemble, clean, and reinstall the power window switch that came in the FC as standard to get it operational again. The reasons that you would want to use an MPV window switch, however, are that MPVs are everywhere in salvage yards, the switches are extremely inexpensive, they come in a variety of colors, and when you compare them to what you have now, which is likely to be broken, the plastics and the switch mechanism are fairly sturdy. Now, they don't seem to suffer quite as badly from the contact corrosion issue as the FC switch does, and I'm not entirely sure why this is, because as far as design is concerned, they're very similar. Now, I'm not going to cover how to remove the window switch in this video, because I covered that in the video that I mentioned before. So if you're unsure how it comes out and you're concerned about breaking it, go ahead and check out that other video so you can see how I do it and you have a good understanding of what's holding it in. Because as we all know, everything in the inside of these cars loves to break if you so much as look at them funny or your cat farts. Therefore, in this video, you're only going to see me showing you how to depin the connector for the current power window switch and repin it properly for the MPV switch. That way, everything is plug and play, you drop the switch into the door, and away you go. The only tools you're going to need to do this are a flat blade screwdriver or similar prying tool to get the switch physically out of the door panel, as well as a terminal pick set, a mechanics pick set, or I've even had some success in the past with using a paperclip, though using a paperclip can be kind of fiddly because they're just not very very rigid. So once you have that stuff gathered, you've got your switches ready. Let's go ahead and get started in swapping these out. So I'm ready to go here. I've got both switches on my toolbox. This is obviously the second gen switch right here. And this is the MPV switch that in your case will be replacing it. Um, this one was originally tan, but it's been painted blue to match my interior. Uh, the paint's kind of chipping because it's seen a lot of action over the years. It may also help you to have uh, your, your laptop or your smartphone or printed out the wiring diagram for the power window circuit. Um, but you're not actually going to need it because I'm going to show you where each of these pins needs to go in this connector in order to make this switch work in your car. So I've also got here uh, a couple of picks. They're nothing special. I mean, one of them is a, a snappy, of course, but you know, that's overpriced junk. Uh, and then I've got just your Harbor Freight pick right here. Uh, one of them is a little sharper than the other one. And some of these, some of these pins uh, require a little bit more finesse. So that's why I've got two. So if you look in the connector, which I know it's gonna be extremely difficult to see and you probably won't be able to see it at all, there are actually little tabs, little plastic tabs at the base of each of these pins in here that you need to push up out of the way to release the pin from the connector so you can pull the wire out of it and you get at it from this side, not the back side, from the front side. So once you have your switch out of the car and you look down in there, you're gonna be able to see exactly what I'm talking about and I'm gonna to have to clean that switch out because it's gotten pretty gunky. So now I'm gonna go ahead and take the pins out of this connector so that I can show you how to repin the MPV switch into it. hard part is actually over with. The worst part of this whole process is getting the pins out of the connector because it can be a little tricky if you've never done it before. So you've got your empty connector here, your MPV switch, and now I'm going to show you where each of these pins goes. So something that is important to note for the purposes of this video is that going forward, I'm going to refer to the side of the connector that has the, the notch cut out into it as the top side of the connector and the smooth side as the bottom of the connector. Um, and this is purely for the sequence of the wires um, where the pins need to go in this connector in order to make it work in your car. Um, I realize that it's not technical term terminology at all. And it doesn't really matter except for the purposes of me showing you how to do this modification. So yes, the side with the notch cut out is the top 
and the smooth side is the bottom. And we're only looking at the back side of the connector here, not the front side where it connects to the harness in the door. So only looking at the back side, notch for the top, smooth for the bottom. Also, the wires involved here on the MPV switch are as follows. So you have a solid green wire, you have a solid red wire, a black wire with a red stripe, a solid black wire, a black wire with a blue stripe, a red wire with a black stripe, and then you have a green wire with a black stripe. I'm gonna go ahead and run down where each of the pins are gonna go in the connector in reference to what I said earlier about there being, you know, the, the top side of the connector and the bottom side of the connector. So looking at the top side of the connector with the notch cut out in it, and we're gonna start at the left. Okay, so the left-hand side, top side with the notch, okay? So the left hand, uh, the leftmost is gonna have the black with red stripe in it. And then to the right of that is going to be the black wire with the blue stripe. And then you're gonna have the solid red wire all the way to the right. And then flipping it over, you're gonna have the, on the left-hand side, the solid green wire, the green wire with the black stripe, the red wire with the black stripe, and then all the way on the right, you're gonna have the solid black one. So that's the sequence in which we're going to pin these wires into this connector, and you're just gonna be able to plug it in, and away you go. Now we have the pins all firmly snapped into the connector. We can go ahead, plug this into the door harness and make sure it works, which I showed you how to do it, so it should work. And then we can clip the power window switch back into the door panel, and that's all you have to do. So let's go try it. So there you have it. It really is that easy to install the MPV's power window switch into your Series 4 RX-7. And this modification is well within the reach of pretty much anybody with very basic tools and a couple minutes of time to spare. It's not one of those modifications that requires any sort of significant electrical or mechanical know-how, so anybody that watches this video, I am confident, can perform this modification to their car. That is gonna do it for this episode of the Spin Cycle. In the description box below, I will of course put the section, chapter, and page of the factory service manual where you're gonna find that power window wiring diagram I mentioned earlier, should you feel you need it. As well as a link to the video I made of me removing the stock switch from the door, disassembling and cleaning it. So if you're unsure how your switch comes out, you can see how it's done and hopefully not break anything in the process. As always, please like or dislike the video and give me some feedback as to why either way. And if you're new to the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button as it really helps me out. So until next time, guys, take care.